It is another trash picking day here at Paper and Moose. Join me as I go out and I hit the curbs and I see what people have put out for their garbage. Some people put nice things out on purpose knowing that people like me come along and pick it up and other people see nice things as trash. It's not wanted anymore, they have no use for it. So they put it out, destined for the landfill and I come along, I scoop it up and I save it. So let's get out there and see what we can find today on this garbage picking adventure. So we have a couple of nice things. These, ooh, they have the fake candles in them. Ooh, are these yoga mats? Oh, I need one, yes. I can disinfect that. We're gonna take that for me. That bench is nice, but I don't have room. These would be cool on my porch. Let me put out more down here. Another light. I don't know. That's a neat light. We're gonna grab that. I guess it's light day. Are those pictures? Oh, that's food. We'll pass on that. Mm, I changed my mind. We'll take it. I don't know. Windy day. Spotted this. Kitchen oops, out by the trash. You're gonna be coming home with me. No idea if you work or not, but this is definitely a good find. Well, they have more stuff out. Ooh, a leopard purse. More clothes. Leopard purse. That has more purses in it, I think. Alrighty, let's load it. So I realized that I don't record a lot when I'm actually out my favorite house getting the bags. That's because I'm more focused on grabbing bags, which I did. I have a whole car full. Not sure if you can see behind me, but looks like more purses, more shoes. The one bag looked really interesting. Um, yeah, I just took them all. So happy, happy garbage day. You don't want to use wrapping paper and hangers. <laughs> and hangers are really good. Yeah. Um, oh, these are nice. Yeah. I mean, she's cleaning out her basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, this doesn't look so cool. Oh. What are these? They look like they're some kind of... Oh, they're like a rattan... Yeah. ...chair? Oh, it says on here, maybe. Broken chair. Oh. <laughs> Take a look. Yeah, do that. Way. She would like that. She'll have more room to put other things out. Well, she left in her car. She brought me cookies. Oh, that's good. Cookies are always good things. Oh, interesting. These chairs are actually rather nice. This one's broken. It looks like there's two that are to get intact. So I'm going to take those. These are nice pieces of wood, too. These are neat, so I'll grab those as well. But the chairs are definitely really neat pieces. Pretty cool. I'm gonna grab those. Those are linens. No. These are more hangers, I think. Ribbon. We're gonna take, oh, it's cat ribbon. That's cute. We'll grab those. I do like those pieces of wood. I just don't know what I would even use them for. They actually were probably leaves, leaves in the table. 
I'll take some hangers. Not a bad day for garbage picking. I found some things that already have a home and some things that will be destined for the flea market and other things that I'm going to try to use, such as the mixer. This sucker's heavy. A KitchenAid mixer. I am um, washing the parts. It does work, which is great. KitchenAids are very expensive whether it's a new one or even if you buy them used. So how cool to have a working one that I found out for free. Now, if it didn't work, then I could easily have sold the attachments uh, because those are desirable. So first time I've ever found a KitchenAid mixer in the trash. Hey, why not? <laughs> um, the, oh, my favorite home put out more bags. So continue to watch for the trash bag reveals. I don't know how much longer they're going to be putting things out. Um, we shall see, but they have been such a blessing during this time, especially when the flea markets have been closed and thrift stores have been closed so that, you know, I have some content to bring to you via digging through a trash bag. So I'll definitely miss that when, you know, it's over and I'm sure that day will come. But other items, the house where I found these things at, um, there also was that bench. The bench already has a home. I was able to give that to a friend. So it's nice when I'm able to find things in the trash that other people, you know, in passing conversation may have said, you know, I've been looking for this for such and such a room, or I've been trying to find this to give to my whomever that needs it. So. You know, trash picking for things that people need is always great because it's free. From that home, I took the yoga mat. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't take both. This confession, this was actually filmed before my just take everything revelation. So <laughs> I did leave the other mat there, but I've been using this for my home workouts, which aren't going that well. I cannot wait until my gym opens. I, I can't, I can't wait. I will like spend all day in there. <laughs> mask, even if I have to wear a mask. So yoga mat. I also picked up this nice lamp from that same house. It doesn't have a model, um, but you know, it looks somewhat Ikea-ish and we know Ikea is expensive, but it works. So very nice lamp. I've been finding a lot of lamps lately. Then the home where I had the conversation with the older woman, she was helping her friend clean out her basement and she had a, a whole variety of stuff. She had the um, tins or the galvanized pans. I took those. I took the ribbon that has the cat, the cats on it. And I did take some of the wrapping paper because it's wrapping paper, it's free, why not? Um, I did take these chairs there was there were three chairs the one was badly damaged and I don't think it could have been repaired and I knew that if I were to take the three with the one damaged people would have tried to knock me down on my price at the flea market you know standing over oh, this third chair it's pretty bad so just don't take it this way I don't have to you know have that conversation and have them try to lower my price but these are nice so there are two of them they are in great shape. I said rattan, wicker rattan, I'm not sure, but just a nice look to them. They, I assume that they are old, but sturdy, great looking pieces. I would probably prefer to take this to um, the Lambertville flea market because I think I would be able to get more money for them at that market. At my usual market, honestly, you know, someone would probably offer me $10 for the pair. And I think that they are worth more than $10 in my eyes, but I could be totally wrong. I, I didn't look for a, a maker's mark. You know, I doubt that there is one unless there's a paper label, but still nice sturdy chairs, a great find in the trash. And I'm not sure if you caught it on the, if I caught it on the camera, if you've heard it, but the woman said that her friend would be so glad to know that someone was able to take the chairs 
and you know get joy out of them or more wear out of them versus going to the trash so you know some people do put things out because they know that people come along and take them they might not have any other means to dispose of them or they might not be able to take things to a thrift store maybe they just don't even think about it you know I don't know why people put certain things out in the trash many comment that you know it's kind of disheartening that people have so much trash that they put out and that they don't take it to be donated but honestly I don't know if people really think about that I think that they know that there are pickers out there and that pickers will come along and take them no idea how people think but I'm glad that they continue to put things out in the trash because that makes life exciting <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this trash picking episode because of all the bags there will be more garbage bag adventures so stay tuned for them and I think that was all I picked up in the trash. I'm not sure if there's anything else that I took that I didn't talk about. It's been a long day. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have a hankering for other trash picking videos, then be sure to check out my playlist. I have plenty of my trash finds there, including when I found the whole bag of jewelry in the trash. If you have not seen that one, be sure to check that one out. That was probably a once in a lifetime find. That house hasn't put anything out since so yeah and while you're at it be sure to hit that little subscribe button down there and ooh, the gnats I don't know if you could see them but they're really out tonight anyway hit that subscribe button click the subscribe button and then you will always be notified of anytime I go out trash picking or I have history behind the paper and all the other adventures that I go on so thank you for watching hope you have a great day if you are out there trash picking good luck to you hope you find something really neat whether you can use it you can gift it or you can even sell it so thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you all next time